All right, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Today is November 3rd. It is a Friday. If it is not your Friday, I hope it can get to your Friday fast. If it is your Friday, hello, and I hope you are having a great Friday and you are looking forward to the weekend. Well, I hope the weekend is something you get to look forward to, is what I meant to say. What did we get last time? Last time we finished the practical exam, we fought a boss, but we didn't do so good because we didn't have the impede. I'm a sudden material. The impede orb mint. And because we didn't have it, we couldn't delay, we couldn't cancel an art. There's no way to get more Sepeth to get the orb, so kind of annoyed. Because there's no way I could have predicted that. Fuck you, game. After that, we, me as in me, Reen, Yusus, Gaius, Emma, <laughs> and Fee, oh, we're on a train ride together. We also saw that Instructor Sarah is a badass and is super strong and has two, has a scarlet sword and a scarlet gun. Really cool. Reen then kind of made Usus and Machinus agree to a truce, to which both Emma and Fee were amazed that Reen could do that. We then spoke to everyone on the train, and now we are going to play, play Blade with everyone on the train, because playing Blade yields relationship points. So, and we need those relationship points. going to hold back. Well then, go ahead and draw. We're even. We'll have to redraw. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. Mirror! <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Oh, I forgot the rules. I thought... Fuck. <laughs> what are the rules? <laughs> um... Again, both players draw one card from the deck and place it on the field. Player player with the lower number on the first has the first turn. Bolt, mirror, and blast force. Okay. Um, player has to make sure they card value surpasses the opponent's every turn. Oh my god, this English is so bad. Uh, not their fault. One for each player, uh, hands field. Gameplay. To play Blade 1, um, the first move is called Oh my god, player is to the goal is to have a ha, is the goal is to have a greater total greater current total than the opponent. The player plays an attack from their hand and goal. Oh okay, so I had to play a card that made everything seven or higher. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Please go easy on me. No. We draw then? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. I'm gonna use a bolt card. I'm gonna use a bolt card. You stop being such a dick? the same score let's draw again oh we have the same score let's draw again 
Allow me to play first, then. Sorry, I'm using a mirror. <laughs> the text doesn't match what she said. Again. Allow me to play first, then. It looks as though I win this time. Oh, I can't win with just a mirror? Oh, well. If we have to. Ugh. All right. Card. I'll be going first. Okay. Fuck you. Now you've done it. Oh, you impertinent little. How about this? Little. At least it wasn't a complete waste of time. I win. You lose. I get it. I'm awesome. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, I can check the rules. I should have done that. Oh, well. Cool. Ah, uh, <laughs> we are at zero. Okay, that makes sense. Seven, eight. Guess we'd better draw again. Guess we'd better draw again. I'm first. Mirror. Crap. Guess we'd better draw again. Guess we'd All draw right. Again. I'm first. Well, oh, man, we're out of cards. Guess we'd better draw again. I'm first. Ouch. Crap. Guess we'd better draw again. I win. Haha! -ha. Yay! All right, we have now played Blade with everyone. It is now time to stop talking and enjoy the train ride to Bereahard. Bereahard. Pass through a great great granary region. What a beautiful view! Look, you can see a few steeples in the distance. That's Bereahard, indeed. We should be there in roughly an hour now. We may yet arrive by noon after all. That does take a toll on your social life, having busy work life. Honestly, you need to come so important. You know, you need to know when to say no to work and no to friends. Hey, we made it. We're awesome. Lord Yusus. Lord Yusus, welcome back to Bereard. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. Hmm, I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. 
He's a real VIP. I return here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this man of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired, were you not? Well, yes, but... You are a child of the Alborea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Please allow me to carry your luggage. We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. That won't be necessary. Ooh, who's that? Lord Rufus. Uh, Rufus? What? My beloved brother. It's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? Who is this voice? Who is this voice? Who is this voice? Rufus Albury is by DC Douglas. He did a lot of games. Alright, what was his first one? He did Voyager in Xenosaga Episode 3. Oh. Well, if Crick and you're here, he also did The Master in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He was Jazz in Eternal Sonata. Ah, he was Jazz. It was also, oh, he was Grimoire Noir in Mir. All right. All right. Okay. Any other games that I know? Um, he was Gunter and Lewin in Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, oh, it was Lantry and Tyranny. Oh, well, that's cool. Anything else that this person did that I think it's fucking awesome? Miss Pod 42 and Soul Calibur 6. Who gives a fuck about that? Here's Gregorio Silva in Code Vein. He was father in Octograph Traveler 2. He was also, he did Noir in the Near Replicant. And he's Srog in Honkai Star Rolling. GI Michigan, G1 Michigan in Armored Core 6. That's cool. I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. Rufus Alborea. Where are my manners, though? My name is Rufus Alborea. Eusus is my younger brother. You needn't hide your shock. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. Th that's not... He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and uh, mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. That's a nice voice right there. We will do first sip of the day, I do promise that.
An ormal engine that sounds like a gas engine. An internal co internal combustion so engine. The one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was. Indeed, I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. Thank you. It really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> Yes, he's quite well, and still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh. Oh, and thank you very much for arranging a hotel for us. We're truly grateful for your kindness. <laughs> think nothing of it. Under ordinary circumstances, I would have invited you to a banquet this evening. But unfortunately, I have business. I must descend to an Heimdall first. Heimdall after we finished here. In Heimdall. Will you be going by airship? Indeed. I'm representing her father. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to be all lonely and blue without me. Ugh, surely you just... <laughs> he may not be the most affable person, but please, do try to extend your kindness to my brother. May the goddess's blessing be with you. I pray that your field study activities are fruitful. So, that was Rufus Alborea. I've heard rumors about him. They say he's the ace of the noble faction. Meeting him in person, it's easy to see where the reputation was originated. He seems like a rather charming person, projecting both intellect and kindness. Yeah, he made a point of showing consideration for my dad too, even though he's a low-ranking noble. And he effortlessly thrusts Eusis into the role of cute little brother. <laughs> I would prefer you not to see that. Though I must admit, I wasn't expecting him to leave Berea hard just as we arrived. How unfortunate. What do you mean? Nothing that concerns you. We should check into the hotel and begin our work. Wait! Come on, let's drop off our things. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, though. The thought of actually staying in a hotel this high class is kind of... Uh, intimidating. Off you go! Alright, well, I am I want coffee. So everyone, it is 28 minutes past the F hour, you know what that means. That is time for the first step of the day. This is when we as a community come together and do one physical action together that make us, makes us feel more like a community. Physical action is cheering, which means y'all need something to drink, so if y'all could go ahead and grab your favorite drink of choice. Whether that may be coffee, tea, beer, water juice, kombucha, papaya juice, watermelon juice, infused water, infused milk, infused coffee, mixed berry juice, chai tea, lemonade, scotch, gin, whiskey, rye, rum, bourbon, brandies, bailey, chips, cognac, wine, champagne, moonshine, absinthe, sake, or vermouth. Everyone, cheers for making it for making it through another day. Hey, Derivative, how are you? How are you, my little orange? This little orange tail? You can barely, you can see her orangeness. Look, it's her orange. It's the orange. Yes, can I help you? <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, little girl. Do you know that? Okay. Let's take this time to just stop, relax, 
enjoy the food that we have to eat. Enjoy the drinks that we have to drink. You know. Life isn't always about moving quickly from one place to the other. Sometimes it's about not moving and sitting, listening and feeling and becoming one with the space you are in. Or as some people would say, vibing with the planet. And I hope maybe that during these first of the days, you do the same thing. <sighs> it is a new month, which means my budget reset, which means I probably need to, like, I don't know, be doing rent a game or advertisements. I've been doing them on here, on Twitch, and on YouTube while I'm streaming. Nothing else caught, though. So I spend some money. I think on Craigslist might be at first. I can't think of a great place to advertise my wares, though. Ah, that's so good. I was going to say something, but I absolutely forgot. But so that's fine. What? Come here. Mm. Can you let go? Thank you. Look at this cat. It's a cat. I know, Drip. Thank you for dealing with me. I appreciate it. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I appreciate it, Derivative. Okay, you ready? It is truly an honor. It is truly an honor that our humble establishment should have the opportunity to be a member of the esteemed Duke's Spare Me the Formalities. We came merely to drop off our belongings, after which point we will be leaving again immediately. Please show us to our rooms. As you wish. If you'll allow me to escort you to the Western Ring, then, we have a fine seat prepared for you. Sweet. We have individual rooms reserved for each of your classmates as well. Wait, I believe I told you before that we're here solely for our studies. This excessive hospitality is neither required nor appreciated, but Lord uses I must insist, don't make me repeat myself. We require only two rooms, one for the boys and one for the girls. Will that be okay with you all? That works for me. That's more than enough. It's fine. Hm, of course, with students, we should be treated as such. Serious mockiness. It's a huge. It's a gramophone. <sighs> we can finally start working on our field study tasks now, I think. Good, we wave this we've wasted more than enough time as it is. Now now. Let's crack open the envelope, shall we? All right, here goes. Field study day one, assigned tasks. The Orok Canyon Monster. A violent monster has been roving the Orok Canyon path and the Cruzian Provincial Army would like it eliminated. Monster fates been at location atop a cliff partway along the Orok's Canyon path. I'd like someone to help me find a particular semi-precious stone. For more details, talk to me at Turner's Jewelers. The Voltaire family even bathes in style, using nothing but the most fabulous bath salts, which we're unfortunately running low on. Hello, sweetie. Will someone procure them from for us? If this strikes your fancy, find me at the Terrans outside the Sociar. Sosh. <laughs> oh, I know how this word needs to sound. Soiree. Soiree? Is that soiree? I don't know. Fuck. S O R C I E R E. I think so. Um. 
I want to hear it. Sorcier. I don't want a fucking French. A woman who is supposed to have powers of magic to a witch? What? Oh, alright, cool. Sorcerer type thing, lover. Okay. Oh. Study area is defined as 100 saugs radius around north and east for a yard. Each student must each student must actively record his or her activities daily to be remitted to the instructor upon request. One request from a noble, followed by one from an artisan. This should certainly keep things interesting. Yeah, they seem to have stuck the perfect balance here. The monster one sounds irritating. What do you mean by report to the Orox Fort on that one? Orox, Orox Fort sits on the opposite side of Orox Canyon. It's a provincial army base originally built in the Middle Ages. The request must have come from there. Sounds like trouble to me. We should probably save that one for last, just be on the safe side. I advise- I'd revise that- ah! I'd advise that regardless. The path through the canyon is long and treacherous. We shouldn't complete our other tasks before we venture out that way, lest we run out of time. Yes, let's do that. Fine by me. Hm. I have no objections either. Alright then, let's get started. I'm sure Elise and the others are working hard on their own tasks as we speak. And we can't let them beat us. So let's give this our all! Right! Alright, of course. I give you my word. I do enjoy that they changed how Eusis would sound to make it, you know, his speech noble. Hey, grand piano. An upright bass with four strings. Good job, game. All right. It's time to get stuff. That's the church. It's the restaurant. We probably should get some nice um, recipes from there. That's the dude with the quest. We have a noble district and station street. Oh? How does one get under there? No. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. For what? Oh, fishing. I don't want to fish. No, no fishing. We're gonna go this way. What's this way? The noble district, everyone. We're gonna talk to we're gonna talk to some nobles. Hey! This seems to be the city's noble quarter. No wonder most of these houses look so overblown and excessive. Your voice sounds wrong. But is there shopping here? Wait, this leads to... Huh? What's wrong? It, it, never mind. It leads to your house. That's fine. I would like some new armor and weapons. I do enjoy, but there is no time limit, not like the longer you walk around, it's going to eventually turn to nighttime, and by that time, you're fucked. Station Street. Christie Galleria and Brea Hard Station. Get here. Oh, good day, Lord Eusis. 
It's always such an honor for us to serve the needs of the Alboreo family. Did there happen to be an issue with any of our product, perhaps? Um, oh, I see. This is the store we tend to get our furnishings from, isn't it? Worry not, I'm here on personal business today. Uh, understood. If that's the case, then please take your time. That was, uh, quite the conversation. <laughs> Seems like they flaunt their influence all over town. Oh, shut the fuck up. Mocking us. Alright, we have... Ing lots of ingredients. My god, lots of accessories, too. Uh, EP plus 20, speed plus 2. Prevents KO. Um, prevents Petrify, Freeze, Burn, Sleep, Blind... Mute, seal, and poison. Uh, not much else. Are there any other shops here? Cobbler and a boutique. Good day, Lord Usus. Good day, Lord Usus. It's always an honor to have your patronage here, please. Take your time and peruse our selection. Fiber boots and cozy socks. Defense plus 16, move plus one. Protective boots are woven from special fibers. Uh, and you would get a defense boost out of that. And cozy socks, strength plus 10 and defense, defense freeze. I don't need anything though, what's here? Fiber Guard, again, just for you. Bandana that energizes its wear, prevents sleep and nightmare, and a belt that cools the body when worn. Okay, fine, I guess. Yeah, equip it. There. Uh. Uh. Boots is 800. I don't have enough. It's okay. I'll just come back later to buy a better equipment then. Okay, so that was everyone in here. What if I go upstairs? What's upstairs? Books. Weapons. Welcome. I assume that your lord uses his classmates. We have a wide range of arms and horse tack in stock here, so please feel free to take your time and peruse them. Oh, I wasn't expecting there to be horse tack here as well. Uh, what the fuck is horse tack? Tack is equipment or accessories equipped on horses and other equines in the course of their use as domesticated animals. Well, that's cool. Indeed, horseback riding and hunting are both still popular here after all. This also happens to be the best store for hunting related tools as well. It's an honor to hear those words from Lord Uses himself. We also, have a lar we also have a range of arms manufactured by the Ryan Ford Company, should you be interested in those. Oh boy, so much. Horseman's cap. A luxurious, luxurious design cap for refined horse riders. So you know what cap is better than this? Post removal. Oh, a Needler SG500. Uh, all these are stupid expensive. Um, can't really buy anything. We're probably gonna have to grind a little bit and then books. We have Imperial Chronicles issue two. We already have that. Carnelia reprint chapter three and chapter four. It looks like we might be reading some Carnelia books later next week. 
Okay. I want to go this way first, so I can talk to the person. We. Oh, today is Friday. Seriously. I guess I did the same thing to you, sweetie. I can't complain too much. Can I get some ingredients here? Oh. This restaurant's pretty big. <sighs> I feel like we're a little out of place here. And yet this pales in comparison to the restaurants dedicated to nobles. I used to come here frequently before I started attending the academy. Huh. It must be good if you're a regular. It must be the gathering place of haughty nobles then too. Huh. Feel free to wait outside for us if you wish. I'll have to give my regards to the owner as well. Is that a slight smile I saw there? Whee! Hello, your Lord Eustace. It's been a while. One of my assignments at the Academy House led me to return here briefly, so I saw it fit to show my face here. Things seem to be going well for you there. I'm glad. I assume you must be all Lord Eustace's as classmates then. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm pleased to see that you've made, you've been able to make so many friends at the Academy. They're only classmates, not friends. They look close. Yeah, but I don't think you'd get this close to someone just by frequenting their restaurant, though. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hammond, and I'm the owner and head chef of this restaurant. I intend on continuing to deliver the highest quality of food, so I hope you'll be able to stop by. No ingredients. That's fine. I'll live. I do need to find some more recipes, though. I do need some more recipes. Grrr, motherfucker. Can I talk to you, please? Thank you. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a minute? Ah, might those uniforms be from Thor's Military Academy? I assume then you must be the student Lord R the students Lord Rufus mentioned then. What's all this about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to some students who came along here for some manner of field study, you see. Well in truth he asked my father first, but he's as busy as he ever was. So the quest was passed on to his heir. In other words, me. Ho oh, ho That sounds rather interesting, doesn't it? Now Take a guess at what I came up with. Oh, you're such a tease. Might I have some time to think about it? Um, so, what exactly was your request? Did you dare to interrupt our conversation? You commoners truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those superior to you to finish your time. Oh my. What's the matter? Lord Eustace, I had no idea you were here with these commoners. Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Uh, of course not. We would never be so crass. I could get used to this. Why couldn't you just stay where they get seen in the first place? Well, what is it that you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request that you procure some pink salt for us. I see. That's a rather difficult request. Fret not, then. I can change the request if you wish. That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it. Much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Oroch's Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Oh, I see. 
Why are they putting salt in the bath though? Putting salt in bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. <laughs> well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yes. Let's get the request from the Artisan Street settled before making our way over there, though. Quest! Addicted to bath salts started! Okay. <clears throat> okay, we did that. Can I get some recipes? Can I just talk to anyone here? Can I get some recipes? I guess. Jewel pottage, creamy chowder, aromatic tea, and savory herb tea. I can't afford any of those right now. And that's okay. Obius closed? <laughs> oh! Obius probably closed the connection, huh? Because it closed and it didn't do a, a I know why. That was my fault. Okay, and then get the other one they said. Turner's Jewelers. It was probably in the Artisan Street. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades. Valenti Tailoring, DeVos Factory. Okay. We have some grinding to do, everybody. So, what you're saying is. Any minute now, indeed. We shouldn't have to wait long. Oh, it looks like he's with the customer right now. What should we do? Should we return later? Hmm? Ah, oh, judging by the uniforms, you're a... Uh... Ah, oh, and I see Lord Uses is with you too. Welcome to our store. Have you come regarding the field sort of request? We have, but I'd ask that you please refrain from giving us any special treatment on my account. If our timing is inconvenient for you, we're quite amenable, amenable to returning at a later hour. No, no, it's the opposite, in fact. We were just, just discussing you as it happens. All right, then. Wait, you were discussing us? Does that mean? Of course. If you'd allow me to explain, this is Bengt, a tourist currently staying here in Barayahar. He is the one responsible for the quest that brought you here. See, I, I'm, I'm going to get married in the near future, and I, I came here to inquire about having a wedding ring made. The artisans of Brayhard are renowned far and wide for their skill with the gem processing, so it seemed the ideal choice. Hmm. So you made what I presume to be a substantial journey in search of the perfect ring? <laughs> it's a wonderfully romantic thing to do, isn't it? There's no denying the quality of the jewel one can produce here, but they don't come cheap. That's exactly right, unfortunately. Buying one of the local gemstones on my income is uh, 
isn't very plausible. And a septium ring, especially, is out of the question. I quickly realized how impulsive I'd been, and I'd almost given up. But then I consulted with Brooke here, and whether or not I had a chance of finding a good deal, and he gave me a really good deal. Oh? That's right. A precious stone might be out of its budget, but there are stones just as beautiful that are a whole lot cheaper. So my precious stones, if you will. The name's pretty self-explanatory. I suggest we make a ring for him using one, specifically gem known as Dryad's Tear. Hmm, I'm not familiar with that one. I think I may have heard of it, actually. It's made from a very particular tree sap that hardens like stone after being exposed to air for a long time. And it has a translucent shine to it that people say is easily the equal of septium. That's the one. I'm surprised you know so much about it. Guess you're an expert on jewels as well, huh? That's our Emma. <laughs> it's just a personal interest of mine. So does that mean the reason you called us here is... Exactly. I'd like you to go collect one of these dryad tears for my clients. Fortunately for you, many of the trees the tears can be harvested from grow on the north of Cruzian Highway. But even though it only qualifies as semi-precious, it is still a pretty rare gem. So finding one might not be an easy task. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to buckle down and look. It might not be quite the challenge, oh dear friend. Our here, dear friend here has made it out to be, you know. Huh? Hello? You look like a Pokemon person. You look like you could be a Pokemon master or something like shit. The innocent wood nips too that you seek. How would you respond if I were to say that I saw one of my own eyes mere moments ago? Who is this guy? Do you know him, Eusis? I can't say I recall ever meeting him before, no. <laughs> Gracious, how terribly impolite of me not to introduce myself before speaking. My name is Baron Blue Blanc. It's a true pleasure to make your acquaintance. From painting, sculptures, and the finest arts to the most delicately detailed crafts, I'm a connoisseur and lover of their beauty, craftsmanship, and artistry in all their many splendid forms. I see. He seems a little uh, off puddingly eccentric. But that's enough about myself. I hear you're seeking a dryad's tear. Yes, that's right. Um, you say you saw one moments ago? Are you certain? My dear lady, I would never dream of lying about matters of beauty. I beheld the light which you seek on the northern highway of that I am most certain, and yet I must confess that my knowledge of the area is not so great that I would be able to share its exact location. Though, perhaps that's the way it should be. After all, a brilliant light is streaming in only when, when one grasps it with his own two hands. You don't say. Guy's manner of speech is irritating. Hmm, so is the content of his words. <laughs> now, now, let's hear him out. Um, well, we're certainly appreciative of the information. May I ask why you're telling us all of, the, all of this, though? Perhaps it's the spirit of the inquisitiveness that drives you to seek a beauty mere mere cannot buy. It moves me so, and being the generous man that I am, I am deigned to extend the olive branch. Is that sufficient enough reason for you? Uh, sure? Well, we'll know soon enough if he's telling the truth. Yes, we just need to begin our search. We can choose to follow his lead, unspecifies as it may be, or disregard it entirely. I think our chances are about equal either way. Well, we'll be leaving now. 
Hopefully you'll see us back soon enough with the Dryad's Tear in tow. Good luck. I appreciate it. Haha. <laughs> Good day to you. Quests. Put a ring on it. Start it. Okay, that's been a lot of talking. Oh my god. We're gonna save just because the vast amount of talking that's happened. We agreed to find the Dryad's Tear on for Banks when according to a really shady looking Baron who happened to be in the jewel at the time, we can get it from a tree on the North Highway. Where's the North Highway? I don't know, is it south? I mean, I don't think so, but... Oh, right, not in that way. But it is time to actually fight things. <sighs> However, most likely, we're not going to be getting to fighting things anytime soon. Because. Ah, I love the look of this city. It's so beautiful. Maybe so, but it's got nothing on Heimdall in terms of sheer scale. Uh, I guess we'll just have to figure it out. North Cruisian Highway. Oh, okay. All right, so... Because next time we do this, most likely, we are going to be reading. I could fox your computer issues, sweetie. I mean, just turn it off and turn it on? I don't know. I probably could. It's my guess. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's not that, it's just most people, when they get computer issues, it is they, they just don't like the computer so much that they're just like, I can't figure it out, and they're not going to spend time to figure it out. <laughs> but huh, when it comes to computer issues, the computer's kind of comfortable around them, and I'm quite learning about them. Okay, what do you got? Okay. Sweet. Mows down foes with twin gun swords. You have gun swords. Overwhelms foes with the dance of death. All right. That's a skies of Arcadia attack right there. Oh shit! Wow. Damn. Okay. Oh. Okay, we'll just keep going and keep fighting things until stuff happens. That's where that is. Because very well, there's a lot of printing issues. Okay, what did you do? I don't know. It just there was printing issues. I was like, you know what you did? No, fix it. But I don't know anything yet. Well, I thought you were good with computers. Yes, but I'm not magic. Right? It's kind of like with cars, right? I don't know. Anyway, just annoys me. Crafts, rapid thrust. You don't have an S craft yet. Um. Oh, let's not have an enemy on a crit. Oh, that's totally, um, oh, what's his name? The blonde dude from Skies of Arcadia. 
Enrique, that's one of Enrique's attacks right there. Oh, right, I need to establish links, don't I? There we go. I'm poisoned! That sucks. Analyzes and making it. Heals an ally with the Calm of the Moon. Recovery 1, Cures KO, Heal P, Heal 50%, and no S craft. Fancher. Do, 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 do. I'll handle it. Oh, let's move out of the way. Oh, it's also you're gonna be critical. I don't want that. This, oh, you're following me. That sucks. Oh, you're dead. Careless. Careless. My turn. Well, that sucks. Um. Okay, get those two. That's one dead. My turn. I'm okay with this. Don't kill her again! Please don't do that. There. It's my turn. Okay. You're fine, Fee. Why didn't you say dance for me? Come on, Fee. Oh, your oh, your speed is down. Okay, let's just delay you. Just fuck you. Okay. It's not over yet. Are you gonna die? Careless. I'll handle this. <sighs> oh my god, is that literally thirty-eight? We are weak as fuck. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, heal fee, please. Thank you. My turn. Go. There. there we go. That's that. Let's keep moving. Okay. That's a lot of Sabbath, my god. Wow, that's a good amount of Sabbath right there. Berear. Oh, passengers, exiting the train for Berear. Get the fuck off because you're heavy and nothing on on that. You know, there's some days where it seems the streaming is not an hour and a half. And there's some days like today where it just feels like the streaming won't stop. It's only because I'm super thirsty, actually. And it's like, ugh. Just those days, it's like, ugh. One second. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, we just need weapons. There's no way we can do anything special for any quests yet. Serve as your opponent. Go. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do with that. I mean, all three we can. Okay. My turn. Mm, we're kind of wish your S craft was ready. It's not. Oh, you can hit multiple people, can you? Will this work? I'm okay with this. Uh, 
have no attack. What about your arts? Luminous Ray. Okay, what does this do? Oh, it's not that bad. That works. Okay. Uh, you're blinded. Fuck you. No. I probably can't get it. I can get everyone. I'm okay with this outcome. Very well. <sighs> You're gonna look 38. What am I doing? Kim. Oh my God, you sis, you so weak. Oh my God, feed you're so weak. Oh, I can't attack. You're really miles my fault. Um. He's gonna die. Crit. All right, crit on this boy, please. 486. Uh, I guess. You're welcome. 190. Let's delay you. I'll handle this. I'll handle it. All of them are saying I'll handle this. Okay. Okay, it's safe for now. We're gonna be so rich when we get back. We're not gonna be so rich. That's only 79. I believe the cheapest weapon is like 4,000. We're gonna have to be training quite a bit to get what we want. Oopsies. Oh well. Um, there. there we go. My turn. Uh, fuck everyone. Yay. Gets eliminated. Let's get going. Yay. Easy. Right. Uh, we have this one and we all the way over here. Anything? Insulating tape and water sepith. I guess I do have all of the sepith that I can use to make ornaments to increase my stats. But can I need to remember that part? Mm. Oh, treasure! And no shit. But it's gonna have monsters in it. They're probably gonna kill us. I'll handle this. Looking forward to this. Arcus, activate. That works. Okay. You have nothing. Scouter? It's my turn. Hear me. Thanks. Ah, I could use it on fee. Oh, don't die, Emma. Please don't die. But... Very well. Okay, that's one done. I'm fine with this. 
Can we get all four? Yes. Oh, two misses. Twenty-three. Oh, it's thirty. That's not gonna do shit. Wow, you can move far. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, only one person. This isn't a group thing. I guess. You're welcome. That is a lot of poison, my god. Very well. My turn. Target locked. Dance for me. Should be a mod where she says dance for me. I'd go with that. Arc slash? Do you get both? You can. Okay. No, it's not. My turn. Target lock. My turn. Seriously. I can do this. Oh, uh, you're gonna die if I don't poison you. No. Really don't want you to die. My turn. Okay. That's that. Let's keep moving. All right. Look at all the stuff we got. We got so much money. Um. I don't think we can do this battle, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, right. Oh, Curia. That's... I'm okay with this. I thought it was going to be a boss battle. Not a boss battle, just a battle. Although they do that in Fantasy Star 2, Dark Falls is in a chest. Super weird. Cures abnormal statuses except KO. Fancy. Do 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 no 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 no. Okay. I guess we continue. What's this? We're just the dead end. Am I going the right direction? I am. Ah, uh, is it? A bridge, huh? Star Bridge. Beyond here is out of bounds for our field study. Fine, Usus. Mockiness. Jeez. That might be. Yeah, I can see it's kind of it's right on the edge. on the edge. Oh, that is, isn't it? There we go. Even better. Yes. Wow, yeah, that was intense, huh? All right. I guess I should sit like this, huh? Okay. There we go, that was weird. 
Yeah, that was I that was the thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. I had absolutely no idea it was like that. Hmm. Well, this is the end, so I guess we're just gonna go back and reset the monsters and try again. But we do have enough money to go to the inn, which is nice. An enemy. I didn't see it. God damn it. Yes. Don't die, Fee. I don't know the rest of that. Oh, fuck you! God damn it! You're welcome. I wonder what Emma's aspect would be. Very well. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. Target lock. Okay, there's that. Stop poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> um, cool. I can get both. Okay. <sighs> I uh, antidote on fee. Can you all just please stop trying to kill fee? I would appreciate that. Damn, damn, damn. Also, Fee needs some armor of some kind. Oh my god. Oh, I can get both. I'm awesome. I'll handle this. Mm, you. Hey. This is bad. Yeah, I know, because you're going to die if I don't unpoison you. God. So many fucking antidotes, Fee. So many air slash. Be delayed. Hear me. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Yay. Target. I'll handle this. I don't know why I attacked. Your attack sucks. My turn. Oh my god, okay. It's safe for now. One hundred and forty-five, which means we are going to have one thousand. Oh, the monsters came back. Okay, one thousand four hundred and fifty Mira, which won't make give a shit. We can't buy anything with one thousand four hundred and fifty Mira. We need to buy better armor because I got armor for um rain. But I guess if we can go to... There's an airport, damn. I guess if we go... Because in the Artisan Street, there was like the Clothier, which is the Tailor. They might have armor we can use. What's it? What the f Okay, Reen's strength is 320. Uses of strength is 279. And, uh... Uh, okay. You know, uh, uh, Night Sword 1, 135. Okay. 
All right. Let's head to the artist. Art. 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 Artisan Street. There is a tailor? Uh, no, Davos' factory? Yeah, tailoring. Okay. Cotton shirt, silver jacket, and a golden dress. We have rubber shoes, soles, noble leather, and glittering mules. Is that a footwear? I have never heard of that as footwear before. Oh my god, what? I am just learning so much from this game. I had no idea what that was with those. Nope, okay. nope, 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 nope. Ah, nope. oh, serving an exchange. We now have a total of 1,780. Cotton shirt will just increase our speed but lower our defense. I don't want that. Silver jacket is actually what we're looking for, and golden dress is what we're looking for, actually. Um, oh god, I wish I could actually equip Fee, because your defense is not as good as Emma's, actually. Oh, your, oh, your magic defense is super low, though, okay. Um, Rubber Souls will be good on Reen, but otherwise lowers the defense of everyone else. There. Um... We need the we need all of them. We need so much money. Selling shit does not give us anything. Yeah. I guess we can sell recipe shit, but I don't know if that's actually going to make us more money or not. Alright, so yeah, that's it, everyone. What did we get done today? We came to Brehard, we saw Yus as his older brother. Make, you know, and, you know, make, make, turn Yus into a cute little brother. It was adorable. We got... We go through quests for the day, for the weekend, technically. That was it. That's all we did. And then we did some grinding. So, what can you expect next time? Next time, we will read one chapter of... of the thing? Of the thing? Which is something that I forgot its name, so we need to look at it. Ah, we're going to read Carnelia chapter three. Ah, yes, this was when he was, he's a, uh, he steals things. And this one is like, oh man, we found some weird ass people as I uh, got into my train. Chapter three is 15 pages and chapter four is 14 pages. Okay, it'll be fun. All right. Lurkers were lurking. Thank you so very much for lurking. Watch us. Oh, no, tomorrow. Next time is that. Just one chapter of Carnelia, chapter three. And more, most likely just grinding for the whole entire time. Lurkers were lurking. Thank you so very much for lurking. Watch us who are watching. Thank you so very much for watching. Bots were botting. Thank you so very much for botting. Love you all, and I'll see you all next time.